Preview. One is six best PG-13 horror movies of all time ranked. When film fans want to find the scariest horror movies of all time, they typically go straight for the most visceral and graphic choices, but the best PG-13 horror movies not only deliver many of the same kind of jump scares and horrific monsters of R-rated movies, some of them are even counted as the most iconic examples of the genre. Signs 2002 available to stream on YouTube, an intimate sci-fi horror film about one family's experience on a secluded farm as the world begins to realize that an alien invasion is coming. Signs is packed full of jump scares and monstrous fights, but all of them work because the audience is able to invest themselves in the characters. Writer and director M. Night Shyamalan slowly raises attention throughout until the invasion begins in the third act, bringing every simmering plot point to a boil before tying it all together beautifully in the final scene. Carriers 2009, available to stream on Pluto TV and YouTube, Chris Pine shines in this post-apocalyptic road movie about a small group of survivors trying to evade a deadly virus that has already wiped out most of civilization. As a panic exposes the darkness lurking within humanity, the plot of Carriers becomes an interesting PG-13 vehicle for the conventions of zombie movies delivering a lot of the kind of social commentary and survival scenes that the genre is famous for but with significantly less blood. The Mothman Prophecies 2002, available to stream on YouTube. Just as enigmatic as its subject, the Mothman Prophecies revolves around sightings of a mysterious figure known only as a Mothman as a reporter is drawn into the inexplicable events that surround his chilling appearances. Elevated by a central performance from veteran dramatic actors Richard Gere, Laura Lenny and Will Patton, the film is a haunting meditation on the uncertainty that surrounds death, with its brazen lack of answers making the experience feel all the richer. The Woman in Black 2012, available to stream on Paramount+. Plus. Movie fans shouldn't be fooled into thinking that The Woman in Black skimps on the darkest aspects of ghost stories just because of its theatrical roots and the inclusion of Daniel Radcliffe in the lead role, fresh off of his run as fantasy hero Harry Potter. The Woman in Black may not reinvent the ghost story, but it plays all the hits and goes for maximum creepiness, and it scares without shame or hesitation dealing with some dark ideas, and its story of Radcliffe's struggling lawyer and the haunted house that he's sent to put in order. Split 2016, available to stream on Fubo TV. M. Night Shyamalan might have a bit of a negative reputation when it comes to his more recent work, but Split vindicated his longtime supporters. Revolving around an unwell man who has kidnapped three teenage girls from some kind of dark ritual, known only to a select few of his Split personalities, who all worship some kind of otherworldly monster, Split has elements of Shyamalan's most successful early works, as well as Hitchcock, suspense, and intense character study through James McAvoy, brilliant lead performance. Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark 2019, available to stream on Netflix. Guillermo del Toro is an undisputed champion when it comes to modern monster movies, and there are few better PG-13 monster movies than this adaptation of Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark, which he produced. Based on the children's books of the same name, the movie takes more than just the monsters from the page, but the horrifying illustrations as well. Think of this film as a bridge between mediums, it's scarier than the books but it barely spills a drop of blood, although many of the movie's kills are worse than a bloody mess. The Exorcism of Emily Rose, 2005, available to stream on Hulu. When movie fans hear the word exorcism, they immediately think of one of the best horror films of all time, William Friedkin's The Exorcist, so any horror movie featuring the word in the title automatically has a high standard to live up to, and Scott Derrickson horror drama has cultivated quite a fan base over the years despite an initially lukewarm response from critics. 
The film is based on the real life of Annalise Michel, who was diagnosed with epilepsy due to a series of visions and episodes. The family was not successful in the attempts to treat her, so they turned to the church for an exorcism that ended her life. The movie follows both a more traditionally horror-like narrative thread of the exorcism itself and a more thoughtful legal drama thread of the trial of the priests involved. When woven together, they make for a uniquely interesting approach to the genre. Devil 2010, available to stream on Peacock. A group of people is trapped in the elevator and the devil is one of them during intense and terrifying events. Viewers have to guess who in the group is the unholy killer picking them off, murder mystery style. The story of Devil has a very interesting concept that encourages engagement from the audience and also carries a fairly uncommon degree of theological death for what is, for the most part, a claustrophobic thriller. Lights Out 2016, available to stream on Hulu. Before David F. Sandberg directed the hit superhero movie Shazam, he directed Lights Out based on his highly popular short film of the same name. The central concept revolves around a deadly specter that can only exist and be seen in the dark. Dealing with themes of chronic illness, both physical and psychological, it's proven to be a more conceptually complex story than it may initially seem for film fans, but that hasn't stopped it from becoming one of the most popular horror movies of recent years. The Final Girls 2015, available to stream on YouTube. Much more comedy movie than a horror movie in terms of tone, but pure horror in terms of setting and subject matter. The Final Girl sees a young woman still emotionally processing the sudden death of her mother, sucked into an old 80s slasher movie that her mother starred in. It's a fun deconstruction of the frequently pick apart subgenre in the spirit of Wes Craven, but its emphasis on emotional catharsis has also pleasantly surprised many a weary horror fan too. Insidious 2010 When I was a teenager, everyone told me not to watch Insidious 2010. I didn't sleep the night after I watched it, my friend confessed. After having watched it, I can certainly admit that it is one of the more terrifying films on this list. Demonic possessions are never fun in games, but the lore the creators behind this film maze is something else. James Wan managed to emerge the audience with a tightly wound story that is noticeably inspired by Poltergeist. 1982, however, Wan makes good use of upgraded technology, as well as the costume and makeup department. The demon on the wall lives on in my memory as one of the most frightening depictions of an evil presence in cinema history. Under the Shadow 2016, while I haven't seen many Iranian films, this brilliant PG-13 horror feature from debut director Babak Anvari follows a mother who is left with her daughter in Tehran as they suffer more and more artillery fire. As this external threat pervades their surroundings, a malevolent internal threat looms. An entity has found a way into this mother's house and could take her child away from her at any moment. Though clearly taking inspiration for Jennifer Kent's The Babadook 2014, this film stands out for its connection to cultural and oral forms of storytelling, particularly Iranian folklore. If you want a scary film that also teaches you about recent history, this film is a safe bet. Before Awake 2016, Mike Flanagan has made a name for himself creating some of the most entertaining horror films of the last 20 years. With films such as Oculus, Hush and Ouija, Origin of Evil, he gained recognition for making tense, horrifying films that had penchant for the supernatural. With Before Awake 2013, Mike Flanagan made a PG-13 horror film that features much more heart than it does laugh. With a touching performance from Jacob Tremblay, this film demonstrates the horror of disease and the lingering effect of grief on a young child. It has enough wonder and amazement to catch the attention of any teenager going into this film, with scary moments that will absolutely keep that intention in a tight grip. Drag Me to Hell 2009, Sam Raimi made a name for himself with the Evil Dead films as an eccentric filmmaker with an eclectic style and slightly bizarre sense of humor. After directing Spider-Man films, Raimi came up with his first horror film in recent years, Drag Me to Hell 2009. 
With an emphasis on gross out humor and supernatural horror, this outgoing from Raimi managed to garner laughs and shrieks from those I watch it with. This film demonstrates how effective Raimi's style is for the comedy horror genre. He likes to have fun with his films, and if you take it too seriously, you're missing the point. This movie is an example of how you should sit down with a bowl of popcorn and laugh in between the shouts. The Sixth Sense 1999, Mr. Night Shyamalan created an entire career for himself with this film with some of the best twists in cinema history. The Sixth Sense was a masterpiece in the art of leaving your entire audience speechless. Though the twist is very well known at this point, it doesn't diminish the huge cultural impact this had at the time. The film succeeds in a number of levels. It both communicates a heartfelt story about a boy who is struggling with the immense weight of his supernatural gift, as well as weaves a suspensive narrative that doesn't reveal the best part until the very end. Telling a story like this requires momentous skill and insane restraint. Gremlins 1984 What's scarier than Christmas? Little reptilian gremlins getting wet on Christmas, that's what. With an ominous opening as well as multi-layered critique on our consumerist values, Gremlins provides both scares and food for thought. It has all the necessary ingredients for this film to become a cult classic as well. An implausible setup, a dramatic finish, and infinitely quotable lines. Who doesn't remember the first time they heard Never Feed It After Midnight? The script is packed full of foreshadowing, just the kind of thing a young teenager loves. Written by Chris Columbus, this film can be seen as part of a slew of films produced by Steven Spielberg in the 1980s with a particular aesthetic style, as well as Poltergeist 1982 and Back to the Future 1985. 10. Cloverfield Lane 2016 This is a horror film which has equal handfuls of both claustrophobic paranoia and supernatural horror. John Goodman's performance alone is enough to make this film a PG-13 at the very least. He provides attention and suspense that flow through the entire film as we are never quite sure if we can trust his character Howard. Is he insane, lying or both, or does he actually know what he is talking about? The film provides an intriguing look into the psychology of preppers, those people who are quietly preparing for the end of the world. What does the effect of a survivalist mentality have on a small group dynamic? How does this pessimistic thinking affect your ability to trust those around you? This film examines that in terrifying detail. Night of the Comet 1984 Night of the Comet 1984 stands out as one of the quintessential PG-13 horror films. It has humor, scares and of course mutant zombies. After everyone is evaporated by a comet besides those who were able to find shelters lined with steel, Reggie and her sister band together to survive the wasteland which their home has become. This is the kind of film which has the capacity to make you laugh, cry and scream, featuring moments of desperation and loneliness, as well as moments capable of giving any 12-year-old a nightmare. There is plenty here to come back to over and over again. Besides, the 80s vibe is indescribably enjoyable. Why don't we bring back those haircuts anyways? The Birds 1963 Hitchcock is known as the King of Suspense. In 1963 he came out with one of his most suspenseful films to date, The Birds. Set on an island in California, we watch as our protagonist solely fall victim to incent bird attacks. While PG-13 did not exist at this time, modern censors give this classic a PG-13 rating. The film is neither too gory nor too light. Hitchcock relies purely on the power of suspense. He makes use of all his filmmaking prowess to make this movie a riveting watch. Who else could make a flock of crows nerve-wracking? While it is easy to dismiss the film as antiquated and the ride of special effects as looking ridiculous, it is important to know the historical impact this film had. For 1963, the special effects were very impressive, so much so they were nominated for an Academy Award and terrified audience at the time. The director to this day still cite this film as one of their influences, with both Guillermo del Toro and John Carpenter stating that it had a big impact on their conception of horror cinema.
A Quiet Place 2018, after making a name for himself as an actor on The Office 2005 to 2013, John Krasinski directed one of the most suspenseful and thrilling horror films in a long time. They never speak about the origins of these alien creatures. In fact, the family rarely speaks at all. This is the land they have come to inhabit, one of quiet and desperation. The opening scene, the fact the film never stops being tense, and the story between Lee and Regan that acts as the heart of the film. This film is peak PG-13 horror. The pounding score for this film gives the narrative the edge that keeps you coming back for more again and again. The sequel is just as riveting and with a third on the way, it could end up as one of the best horror trilogies ever made. Arachnophobia 1990, this very well might be my favorite PG-13 horror movie of all time. It has everything you could possibly want out of a cult classic horror comedy. Laugh out loud moments, ridiculous characters, unavoidable jump scares and murderous spiders the size of your head. Jeff Daniels provides a great performance as a leading man, though there are so many great characters in this film that you'll struggle to pick your favorite. John Goodman offers another amazing supporting role. Always nice to meet a colleague. The laughs keep on coming, but the jump scares are all that separate them. Arachnophobia 1990 also features the most suspenseful shower scene since Alfred Hitchcock made Psycho 1960. A murder wielding a knife or a venomous spider crawling onto your head. Which would you choose to fight when you have shampoo in your eyes? The Ring 2002, available to stream on Paramount Plus, adapted from the hit Japanese movie Ringu, The Ring is a rare example of a remake being debatedly even better than the highly regarded original. It's a beautifully shot movie with an intense feeling of foreboding throughout, the premise of a cursed videotape that kills whoever watches it after seven days is a fascinating take on a modern ghost story that continues to resonate with horror fans today even after the movie's less successful sequels.